Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. Just want to bring you guys an update on Litecoin. I saw this quick before I was going to head to bed. Just wanted to give it to you guys as well. So if you could like, subscribe, all that, I really appreciate it. it helps out the channel. So guys, Litecoin as of now has broken the resistance of that $90 or so. So we are currently up above it. We are 3.85% up. We're at $92.41. Our RSI is at 80 right now, and you can see how we've just had this steady uptrend, that, that beautiful bull move. But one thing I want you guys to realize is just keep an eye on this RSI, because when you've had this type of run, you're most likely going to have excuse me, a pullback. Okay, You're going to have to cool off these RSIs. So really look at like that one hour, that four hour. If you have this special trading view, I like the 8, the 12, and then the one day. But... You guys really need to pay attention to that, okay? Because the RSIs have to cool off. Experienced buyers and people who understand this, you know, they're going to see the RSI up in the 80s and the 90s, and they're going to know that a pullback's coming. And what they're going to do is try to let it pull back, and then they're going to put their money in for the next run up. So we're having the higher highs, higher lows. But you always have to have that, that pullback. And I want you guys to understand that Litecoin's not going to go to $150 in a night. So don't have that FOMO, if that makes sense. Really wait for it to cool off. Look for a good entry. And it's really positive, guys. We almost had this rounded bottom on the 4-hour. And you can see we, we broke out of that. So our overhead resistance now, our next one, I would put somewhere right in this range, that $100. We'll call it psychological 100 and there's some resistance there. And you can see we've broken out of the Bollinger Bands as well. Guys, those really expanded. But it is great to see this. Man, it's been a while. Just to see that nice, nice rounded bottom there and explosion up. And we broke through that and we're breaking through it on some decent volume. So I want you guys to pay attention to that and also on the RSI. Kind of got that little trend line too so you can see if it breaks it or whatnot but as of right now guys we're still just climbing up and we're pointing up so you know this is crypto the rsi could go up to 90 93 94 we've seen it before and it's 80 now so there still could be some running right now before the pullback i just want you guys to be cautious you know don't fomo into anything there's always there, there's going to be time okay just as hard as do you see this fall here Take a look at that fall, guys. Come on. We're due for something like that. You know what I mean? we got to kind of clean this this out. That was too big of a drop too fast. So now we gotta got to move back up, and we don't want this just to be a straight shot. We want to build you know, some support and whatnot as we go up. So when we have that higher high and higher low. So, guys, this was just a quick one. Wanted to bring it to you. God bless each and every one of you, and it is good to see this with you all because it has been a while. And remember how we talked, we, we have to change that trend. And this could have been at this inverse head and shoulders pattern. It, re it really could be it. And we're up above the moving averages they've crossed over. And here's all my moving averages, guys. I got the 20 EMA, the 12 EMA, the 26 EMA, and the Bollinger Bands on right now. And then we're looking at the RSI. So... Um, just keep that in mind, guys. Pay attention. Be smart. Don't FOMO. God bless.